ancient Aramaic wisdom keeper Dale Allen Hoffman here. So what does the word spirit mean anyway? We throw it around, I hear people say, oh, we shouldn't even use the word spirit or spiritual because it's become sort of like a moot point. I'm like, what a ridiculous idea. What I do understand is understanding what it really means. Well, of course, that Latin spiritus, you go prior to that, you've got the Greek pneuma, go back before that, which of course is underlying substance, go back to the Aramaic, the language that Yeshua spoke, that's the language I work with, that Jesus guy. In that language, it was rucha. In, in, in uh, Arabic, it was ruch. In Hebrew, it was ruach. What does that actually mean? What it actually means, spirit is elemental force. Elemental force. Well, what's an example of an elemental force? Well, here's one. Spirit. How about this one? Breath. Interesting. How about wind? Of course, in John 3, when Yeshua was speaking to Nicodemus, he said the wind comes and goes. You don't know where it's going to, but you can hear its voice. What's that word there? Rucha. And then he says, as it is with Rucha, which I doubt he was flapping his arms in the air, meaning spirit. He probably took a real deep breath. So what are some other examples of Rucha? Elemental forces where you can feel or sense the effects but not necessarily know what they are or where they're coming from. Well, nuclear forces would fit it today. I did mention, of course, breath, wind, the heat that we feel, not necessarily the heat, but the, the sensation we feel from solar flares, from the heat of the sun, magnetism. Can't see that. You can see its effects. You can sense those, right? There's so many different ways to look into that sound. And when you realize, wait a second here, if we're talking about electricity, magnetism, electromagnetism, nuclear forces, the rise and fall of the breath, and think about the movement of air on your skin, how do you become more spiritual? Listen, use your senses. You can hear it. You can feel it, those sensations on your skin. Go out in nature and just sit there. That's what spirit really means. We look even deeper into the word rukkah, spirit. It is in truth not even, what's that I feel on my arm? <sighs> Breath. Actually, what I'm feeling on my arm is hot air. Because in ancient Aramaic, rukkah, spirit, is not the hot air I feel on my arm. It's not that which is moving through my lungs and my body. It's actually my feminine perception of its movement. It's not the magnetism or the electricity or the nuclear forces or any of those aspects of something that I can sense with my senses so much as it's actually my awareness of it. It's my sensation, my feeling of those forces, not the forces themselves. So if you loved this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you absolutely hated it, please give me a thumbs down and subscribe to my channel. It's enough for me just to know that I rattled your precious cage, but I say that in the deepest knowing of love. It's what I needed for myself. I needed somebody else to rattle my cage first. If you don't believe what I'm saying, please do the research off the path of seminary, off the path of what the church offers. You'll find out, guess what? This is for real. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. See you next time.